Okay, today we're going to be making a six hour chicken stock. So I start out with a whole chicken here and what I have to do is debone this chicken and get it ready to uh, use the bones in the uh, stock pot. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the breast off here on this side, start right here in the center and we're just gonna come right down Slice the breast off, nice and clean. Just follow those bones right down. Get all the meat off. Coming down here, like this. Then we're gonna get down right here. Take this off. And as you can see, we're getting down to the backbone here. So we have a wing in here. We're just gonna take this wing off, come around to the thigh bone. Just bring that out there so you can see that joint right there. I'm just gonna go right between that joint and we have half a chicken here. I'm going to put that in our waiting bowl. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side here. Just come right down that breast. Take the meat off the bone. And uh, folks, always be careful. You don't want to cut yourself uh, when you got your fingers down in there as well as Trying to get the chicken off the bone. We'll take that wing off. There, come around the backbone. And we'll come down here. I just like to pop out that thigh bone. Right there. And now, two halves of the chicken and we're going to take this back just cut that right in half and we're going to put this on our waiting pan now what I also like to do is I trim up the chicken take a lot of this fat off here you can use that in our stock pot you can also use Chicken there, take this wing off. Actually, this looks like we lost this uh, here, so we'll put that in the stock pot as well. We'll take this other half of the chicken, same thing. Take this wing off here. I don't think anybody actually eats this little piece of the wing so that can go in the stock pot. The excess chicken skin can go in there as well. And then we're good to go. So now I have some. Let's move this out of the way here. And Okay, so I just washed my hands and I just wanted to show you all the uh, vegetables I'm going to use in my stock. I got some celery in there, celery, I have some ginger, some fresh herbs, rosemary, some oregano, some tarragon, I mean cilantro, that's cilantro. We have carrots and some onions and some garlic down in here. We also have some more spices. We have some chili peppers, some bay leaves, some coriander seeds, and some cumin seeds. And this is all going to go in our stock pot. Okay, so for uh, chicken bones here, I have them on a pan. And what we're going to do is we're going to roast these in the oven for a little while to start caramelizing that 
chicken here and uh, start getting that roasted flavor into these bones. And then we're gonna get it into the pot with the rest of the vegetables and aromatics and let it cook down for six hours. Okay, so our chicken bones have been roasting in the oven for about 20 minutes on 380 degrees. And we're not really trying to cook them all the way. We're just trying to get them started and get them a little caramelized. And also when you do this, it helps your stock uh, turn out a little cleaner, uh, clearer, uh, once you get it all cooked down after six hours. So we're gonna add these chicken bones to the pot that I have over here. Of course, we're gonna add this flavor from the pan into the pot. There we go. And next we're gonna add our vegetables to this pot. Create a nice stock. First thing I'm gonna do is put in these uh, dry herbs, the bay leaves, the peppers, and the uh, seeds, the cumin seeds and the coriander seeds. We have some fresh herbs here, some oregano, some rosemary, and we have some cilantro here as well. All that's going in here with this ginger, the carrots, the celery, you can see that celery there, and the onions are our main aromatics uh, for this stock, but we're adding the other ingredients to give us lots of flavor. We have some garlic in here as well, and I didn't have a green bell pepper, so I'm using the orange bell pepper for this. And next we add our water to the pot, and then I'm gonna get this over to the stove and let it start cooking. So I'm gonna stop this now, stop this video here now, and then I'll be back in six hours to show you what our finished product looks like. Okay, everyone, our stock has been cooking for about 40 minutes now, and um, I can smell it. It's already got lots of aroma to it. So. I just wanted to show you a couple of things I didn't show you earlier that I'm going to add now. I have some salt, a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of salt, and some black pepper. I'm going to add that to the pot now. And I also have a half a cup of white wine that we're going to add as well. You know, I'm going for a flavor bomb stock here. So now it's good to go. We're just going to let it keep cooking and uh, we'll add some water as needed. Now, when you make your own stock like this, the good thing is you can control the sodium and what other ingredients go in it. I know there's a lot of stock that's on the shelf in the grocery stores, but um, I like to make my own when I can, and it has a fresher flavor, and you can also control the salt, which is something that I have to look, look out for. So. Uh, we'll be back in five and a half hours, and we'll see what our product looks like. All right, our stock has been cooking for five hours now, and let's take a look here. As you can see, the chicken has broken up into pieces as it cooks down. Our vegetables are fairly mushy right now. The uh, carrots are still a little bit firm, but now they're actually breaking apart pretty easily as well. Um, the flavor and the smell is amazing. So um, this is gonna go for another hour and then we're gonna strain everything out and we're gonna be left with some flavorful chicken broth. We'll be back when we have our finished product. All right, it's been six hours now. I just turned the pot off. And wow, the smell is just wonderful. It reminds me of Julia Child saying, I wish you could smell it because it smells so good. But now we're going to let this cool and then we're going to strain out all this beautiful stock. And then from there, we'll be able to make some more delicious dishes based on this stock that we produce. Six hour chicken stock. All right, our chicken stock is finished. 
it's been drained and I have it in these containers here. As you can see, it's a deep, rich broth. Uh, it has lots of color to it, plenty of flavor. There's a little fat on the top uh, for some additional flavor. Now, with this stock, we can make soup, gravies, and all sorts of wonderful dishes. Uh, each container holds three cups of stock. Uh, so this would probably be the equivalent of two boxes of that stock you get out the store. But this is healthy stock. You know, everything in here we put in ourselves. And I put uh, half a teaspoon of salt so it's not uh, too much sodium in the stock. So um, in my next video, we're going to utilize some of that chicken that we cut up today. We have eight pieces of chicken. And we're going to make a nice dish in my next recipe. Uh, stay tuned and thank you for viewing.